Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Students and teachers of the Doma Kwemu Junior High School are sitting on a time bomb as the building accommodating them is near collapse. District authorities say they are not able to do much because of lack of funds. Educational infrastructure in the Doma East District has been a major setback to the sector. The situation is widespread in the district, especially in the hard-to-reach communities. The Doma Akwemu Junior High School is one of such schools. Here, the infrastructure has not received any major facelift since its establishment by the Parents Teacher Association some three decades ago. Interestingly, this is a preferred choice for pupils who have graduated from the primary schools in the catchment area. But the current state of the structure, I'm told, has contributed to the decline of the school's enrollment in recent times. Already, portions of its roofing have completely dislodged from their positions with more yet to remove. A torrential rainstorm has also left some defects on the structure. Windows and doors are equally weak. Staff common room and office could no longer support human occupancy, forcing teachers to sit outside when outside the classroom. Teachers are overwhelmed. During the day, that place is very hot. So, in fact, teaching and learning is not uh, all that encouraging. It doesn't go on well. Furniture were provided by parents, but they resolved not to do that again because of government free education policy. The Doma Akwamu Junior High School is not the only school with infrastructural challenge. The Methodist Junior High School in the community also has similar challenge. While primary pupils are confined to decent classrooms, a wooden board cladded structure is what serves JHS 1 to 3 pupils. The classrooms get wet any time it rains. The school authorities have petitioned the district authorities on three occasions, but they are yet to receive feedback. District Chief Executive for Doma East, Emmanuel Ajiman, attributed the disparity in the provision of educational infrastructure to inadequate funding. The infrastructure is a challenge. When you go to most of our communities, you realize that um, the structures under which children study is quite deplorable. It's something that we need to do so much work on. So uh, there is no way, it's not possible that the assembly can capture all those schools. But what we are paying so much attention to is the self-help, so that when the communities do something, if we have somebody somewhere who would want to support in any way, then the assembly will also give the um, support that uh, it can afford. Doma East will require support from government, philanthropists and benevolent organizations to improve its infrastructural deficit. Let's remain in the Bono region, but in the Doma Central Municipality, where construction of an additional facility to ease pressure on the Abuabu Health Centre has stalled, and Stanley Nibli has been finding out why. Access to quality health care is one of the 17 sustainable development goals of the United Nations, which is achievable by 2030. However, this is not the situation in communities in the Doma Central Municipality. At Abuabo, a suburb of Doma Ahinku, the community is fortunate to have been provided with a health centre which serves more than 15 adjoining communities. Health personnel supervised by the Christian Health Association of Ghana have been posted to the facility and they are rendering services to patrons in the midst of scarce resources and space. The community, with assistance from the Acting Inspector General of Police, James Opombuenu, who hails from the community, initiated the construction of an additional structure to support other services rendered by the health facility. But the project has stalled close to a year after some plastering, roofing and fixing of door and window frame works were done. Part of the building is designated as medical laboratory, but goats' escalator are everywhere in the building. 
the Damar Central Municipal Assembly said generation of internal funds to support community initiative projects remain a challenge. If our people don't help us to raise enough funding, it is always difficult for us to do. We don't always want to rely on central government for funding. We are here doing due diligence, making sure that we get value for money projects. So they should have the trust in us that once they pay their revenue to the assembly, we are going to put their resources to good use to benefit the entire community. At the main facility, broken beds have not been repaired, but health personnel have improvised to support patients' admission. There are other defects. Improving health care and infrastructure in Abuabo and its adjoining communities would require resources and conscious efforts to address. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for watching.